What's up YouTube, Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Well. Today I'm gonna to continue the artificial intelligence series. So this is episode number two. Now last time we covered three mega trends, secular growth trends with FinTech, healthcare, and space exploration. Today we're gonna to continue the AI series with cybersecurity and digital transformation. You're gonna to wanna to see this one, stay tuned. All right, guys, so on the last video, I broke down artificial intelligence, explained the different types, and we covered machine learning from a high level. I wanna go a little deeper on that today because it is very important for today's video. So machine learning, a quick definition. Machine learning is a subset of the broader field of artificial intelligence. ML teaches a machine how to answer a question or how to make a decision on its own. That's the key. It contrasts with traditional programming, which requires giving a machine explicit instructions for it to answer specific questions. Questions. In fact, every imaginable case has to be programmed ahead of time in order to cover all possible situations. So very different between machine learning and traditional programming. For example, imagine you wanted to take a multiple choice test. You could memorize all the correct answers by heart, which would be the equivalent of traditional programming. Or you could learn to understand the concepts behind the questions and then use that knowledge to determine the correct answer. The latter method represents the fundamental principle of machine learning. So the very critical difference is that machine learning teaches a machine how to predict an answer for you. This offers many advantages, but the biggest is the ability for the machine to respond to situations that it has not specifically encountered before. Basically replacing processes that would have taken humans a ton of time, a ton of manual labor, to go through all of that data and extract the information. So AI is a very vast field and machine learning actually is its own vast field within AI. In a nutshell, ML learns by being fed multiple examples in the form of a data set and rules or algorithms to apply to that data set. The more examples the machine sees, the better it can learn. So when you think about software that uses machine learning, the longer people use it, the more data that software gets, the smarter it becomes, okay? So when you think of a lot of these, these these tools, these cloud-based SaaS tools that we talk about on the channel, when they're using machine learning, they actually get better with time. They age like fine wine. There are multiple types of ML and each works very differently. If we generalize the field, we can define three main categories of ML, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. So this first one is really important, supervised learning. Machine is trained using sample data and is labeled to tell the machine what the data represents. In other words, it knows what it's looking for, the input and it knows what answers are expected, the output, based on that training, the machine should be able to analyze new data and predict the correct answer. Supervised learning has applications such as disease diagnostics or speech recognition. Now in unsupervised learning, the machine is trained using data that doesn't have any labels. That means the machine does not know what the data represents nor what answers are expected. So the machine guys will have to figure out on its own the patterns and structure of the input and discover the expected output all on its own. So an example of this, the classification of movie genres and Netflix is an example of unsupervised learning. So last real quick, reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning, the machine interacts with its environment to achieve a certain goal. It is similar to unsupervised learning as the machine is trained using unlabeled data. However, in reinforcement learning, the machine receives feedback on the outcome. For example, a machine can use this model to learn how to play a game. If the machine receives positive feedback or if it wins, or negative feedback it loses from the actions it takes, it will over time determine by itself the best strategy to win the game. That's pretty cool stuff. Each victory will reinforce the validity of specific actions. Reinforcement learning applications are emerging in robotics for manufacturing. Okay, great, Eric. So why do we need to know about the different types of machine learning? Well, what I'm trying to do is, is really educate you on AI and the different types to show you how diverse it is, but also supervised learning actually is what the next stock pick actually leverages to use use AI, so stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get into the next stock pick. If you're new to this, you haven't seen the first video, go back and watch episode number one. This is episode number two. This is a series of videos that cover the top 12 high growth AI stocks. Now we're covering different secular growth trends, mega trends. You're definitely gonna wanna see this entire series. So make sure you subscribe. All right, let's get into the first stock pick on today's video. Now I'm actually going to do this backwards. So this is gonna be number eight and the next one's gonna be number nine. I did that really guys, because this topic is most interesting 
interesting and it made the most sense in the flow of the video. So what is it? This is an article from Venture Beat, the machine making sense of AI. What do enterprises need to know about AI and cybersecurity? So this is really going to be a series of picks. I'm gonna give you my pick and then some bonus picks. So definitely stay tuned for those. Modern day enterprise security is like guarding a fortress that is being attacked on all fronts from digital infrastructure to applications to network endpoints. That complexity is why AI technologies such as deep learning and machine learning have emerged as game-changing defensive weapons in the enterprise's arsenal over the past three years. There is no other technology that can keep up. It has the ability to rapidly analyze billions of data points and glean patterns to help a company act intelligently and instantaneously to neutralize many potential threats. So what stock am I talking about, guys? CrowdStrike. This one's been a winner in the portfolio. I've owned it for a while, started buying it after the IPO in 2019. Of course, the stock has run pretty hard. So if you're not familiar with CrowdStrike, I've got lots of videos on the channel about CrowdStrike. Definitely subscribe. Go take a look at some playlists. There's tons of information on CrowdStrike. There's even a video that does a comparison of CrowdStrike and Sentinel One, which I think is a very good video. It breaks it down. It's about 30 minutes. So if you're not familiar though, CrowdStrike's Falcon Suite. And I actually did a demo of CrowdStrike Falcon last July on the channel. It's an actual demo of the software I did on the Fired Up Wealth YouTube channel. So CrowdStrike's Falcon Suite of products, and this is a typo in this article. It's, it's supposed to say cloud native. So they're cloud native AI powered cybersecurity solutions for companies of all sizes. These products cover next gen antivirus, endpoint detection response, threat intelligence, threat hunting, IT hygiene, incident response, and proactive services. CrowdStrike says it uses something called signatureless artificial intelligence and machine learning, which means it does not rely on a signature or a unique set of characteristics within the virus that differentiates it from other viruses. So it's kind of getting complex there, but you get the gist. So this is key here, guys. The company has grown rapidly by focusing mainly on its endpoint threat detection and response product called Falcon Prevent, which leverages behavioral pattern matching techniques from crowdsourced data. It gained recognition for handling the high profile DNC cyber attacks in 2016 and the rest is history. Now there are a lot of good stocks that really fall in the whole cybersecurity realm that's Megatrend and this could be really higher. So when you look at these, these rankings, the numbers, don't pay too much attention to those guys because you could probably rotate these around. It's very hard. If you look at the stock picks when this list is done, it's very hard, especially the ones in the middle, to determine if they should be five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So I'm doing number eight is CrowdStrike and I'm gonna do number nine next. Before I do that though, I wanna give you some bonus picks within cybersecurity. So Darktrace is one of those that I wanna talk about. This also offers cloud-native, self-learning, AI-based enterprise cybersecurity. The system works by understanding your organization's DNA and its normal healthy state. It then uses machine learning to identify any deviations from its healthy state, example, intrusions, et cetera, that can affect the health of the enterprise and then triggers instantaneous and autonomous defense mechanisms. So it sounds very similar to CrowdStrike in that manner. It protects the enterprise on various fronts, including workforce devices, Internet of Things, SaaS, and email. So it leverages unsupervised machine learning techniques in a system they call Antigena. It's a kind of a big word. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or not. To scan for potential threats and stop attacks before they can happen. This is based in the UK. It is traded in the US on OTC and it's also a PLC. So something to be aware of. I don't own this stock. I, I do think that the, the company seems very good from what I can tell from my limited research on the company. But I've had a lot of questions from the Fired Up Wealth community about Darktrace. And it's one that I wanted to mention in this series because they definitely use they leverage AI and machine learning. Up next, guys, Sentinel One. Now, I did a video that compares CrowdStrike and Sentinel One. And if you're interested in that, definitely check out the channel and watch that video. Now, this is another one that leverages AI and machine learning, operates as a cybersecurity provider in the United States. Their platform, they call it Singularity platform, delivers artificial intelligence powered autonomous threat prevention, detection and response capabilities across an organization's endpoints, cloud workloads, et cetera. It sounds all three of those when you start reading them, they sound kind of the same. So Sentinel One, Darktrace, CrowdStrike, there's probably a dozen other stocks that are cybersecurity related that I could put on this list, but those are a handful for you to explore. All right, an Easter egg, a surprise bonus pick for the ones that like to watch the videos in their entirety. You get a lot of extra nuggets of information if you watch the whole video. So I'm gonna give you a stock pick idea here. This is one I've studied for a while. I thought about making a video on the channel, just haven't gotten around to it. As a reminder, if you want me to do a deep dive on any of the stocks on this AI list, let me know. 
I'll take care of you. So what do you think this stock is, guys? Completing the next paradigm. This is talking about really cybersecurity and awareness. So network, you've got Palo Alto, right? Identity, you've got Okta, like Octopus. You've got Zscaler for web. You've got Endpoint, we just talked about it. What's that one? CrowdStrike, right? And then the human element, know before. Now this is cloud-based security awareness training. It's a platform. And these guys actually use AI in several interesting ways. So if you want me to do a deeper dive, let me know. I can't spend a lot of time on it today, but I will go through a couple slides here just to give you a high level idea of what they're all about. Know before's platform is purpose built to protect the human layer. So look at the very bottom. You've got machine learning, artificial intelligence, analytics, engaging content, cloud-based software, and so on. You can kind of see how this works workflow, you've got audit risk, there's all these different types of behavior. So it, it really uses analytics and AI and machine learning in several ways. It's really trying to train your employees because here's the thing, you can have all the greatest cybersecurity software on the planet at your organization, but if your users are clicking you know, fish emails, the chances of something happening are higher than if they don't do that. So really that front line of defense, they call it, you know, the front line is gonna be your actual employees and training them on what not to do essentially to help protect your organization. This is the last slide I'll cover real quick, but strategic moats, machine learning and AI. You can see again, you've got a patent library that's AI and, and machine learning oriented. You can see AI and machine learning is kind of built through this entire company. Very good stuff. They have 41,000 logos, tens of millions of end users. They're a leader in the Forrester wave. I'll actually show you one last chart here. It's a good company, guys. The thing about it, it's a fairly new IPO. It's, it's kind of one of those that people don't talk a lot about because it's just a little bit different than anything else in its category. It's very unique. But real quick, you can see that there's a few different leaders. There's CybeSafe, Inspired E-Learning, InfoSec, and then Know Before is kind of the best of breed. Got a real strong strategy, a very clear leader on this. And this is the Forrester wave similar to the, the Gartner Magic Quadrant. All right, guys, so number nine, I did it reverse order, but number nine is going to be DocuSign. When you think of digital transformation and going everything digital, getting rid of fax machines and just kind of taking that to the next level, DocuSign really is the best of breed. And they're using AI in a couple different ways across the organization that actually might surprise you a little bit. So what I've done is I put together a quick video. It's actually a video from their website and I just read the commentary over it. But it's about two minutes long and it gives you a good snapshot of how they leverage AI within in DocuSign. DocuSign Agreement Cloud, they have a product called Analyzer and it lets you negotiate better agreements faster with the power of AI. So every incoming agreement you have as an organization carries risk. That's why contracts need to be carefully reviewed and negotiated. But a lengthy review process can mean business delays, high costs, poor experience for all involved. DocuSign Analyzer streamlines contract review processes and negotiation with purpose-built artificial intelligence to break down each inbound agreement to its core components. Analyzer conducts an in-depth risk analysis of the agreement, displaying the results in shareable, easy to understand scorecards so that stakeholders can quickly take appropriate actions. The risk analysis is based on your organization's own legal and business standards and takes into account both the existence and absence of clauses of interest. When a risky contract term is identified, editing that term is easy with single click access to recommend replacement language from your organization's library of pre-approved clauses. And all this is delivered within Microsoft Word. So legal teams can easily use Analyzer every day. With Analyzer, sales can drive business on a more self-sufficient basis, making efficient use of valuable legal resources. Procurement teams can confidently negotiate third-party contracts with their suppliers, knowing that the terms are, are agreeing to their own corporate, legal, and business standards. And everyone involved can enjoy a smoother, more responsive, better negotiation experience. Analyzer is built on DocuSign Insight and its proven combination of technologies, including natural language processing, machine learning, and rules-based logic to understand what's in your agreements across your entire enterprise. And Analyzer integrates with DocuSign's CLM, so you can automate risk assessment as a standard part of your contract workflows, and even route contracts to just the rate reviewers based on the content and the risk level. An integral part of the DocuSign agreement cloud, Analyzer brings the power of advanced contract analytics and AI to your end-to-end -end agreement process. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, this concludes episode number two of the top 12 AI stocks, really the 
high growth, kind of off the radar, secular growth trend type AI stock. Something that's kind of cool and unique. I've gotten a lot of great feedback from the community and I really appreciate the support. Your likes and your comments, subscribing to the channel, it means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. It helps me, it helps drive me to keep going and to make more videos. So thank you very much for the support. You're gonna to wanna to definitely subscribe, click the bell to get notifications, check out Patreon Discord, check out The Motley Fool. There's links below in the description. But I appreciate your time and attention. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.